What up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. Oh, the new truck. Check her out. Is that not a good looking wet girl right there? It's been raining. <laughs> but guys, welcome back to another one. I'm loving the new truck. If you haven't seen her, there she is. 6.7 liter Mega Cab Cummins. I'm loving it. But today, two things. Wait, actually three things. First off, I wanted to do a little hunt here at the house. Uh, we finally got some thunderstorm actions. Check it out. It's raining as we speak. We just had a huge thunderstorm go through. Check it out. So see these high wires right here? I've always warned you guys about these high wires and the thunderstorm. Yeah, those two things, those two things, when water starts accumulating in my driveway and just on my property in general, a lot of birds, and I mean a ton of starlings, start traveling this huge guide wire, this whole electrical wire. They fly it and they stop along it and they get drinks just like this. We don't hold water here. Uh, the entire property is nothing but sand. So these puddles, they just don't last forever back here. So when we have them, the starlings populate because again, they're traveling. So that's the first thing. Second thing is, uh, I've had a ton of questions regarding filming. Y'all are like, Bobby, uh, how do I, I want to film my hunts? I want to wear a GoPro on my head. What cameras do I need today? Right now, we this is on my GoPro uh, 7 Black. That I, I love that GoPro. It is amazing. The stabilization, blah, 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 blah. Just get you a 7 Black and you'll have a good one. You hear them Bob Whites? We got tons of quail on the property. I'm telling you what. Come quail season, we're gonna be doing a lot of quail hunts out here. A lot of starling family groups are already flying. If we have to wait a little bit on and off, even if we have to drag this video out into tomorrow just to get some more shooting, I'll do it. Plus, I wanna do a catch clean cook at the end. So, I haven't done one for a while and starlings are gross and I wanna use a new duck seasoning. But number three, we're using the Benelli SB3. A lot of you have been requesting that I use it. We're gonna use it on this entire video. I wanna get used to it as well. I need to shoot it more. Because come this duck and goose season, I wanna shoot it pretty much primarily. And then number three, four, five, whatever we're at. Man, them quail are everywhere. The new ducks t-shirt of the month. Look at that bad boy right there, uh-huh. I will link the Ducks t-shirt of the month down in the description below. Go check it out, go sign up for it. It's only $14.99 and you receive a one-off Ducks t-shirt in your mailbox every single month, once a month for $14.99. So if we're gonna get on the golf cart, we're gonna head out back. We're gonna see if we can find some birds. No, I won't be shooting from the golf cart. I'll step off and then shoot. You, it is illegal to shoot birds from a moving vehicle, even if it's parked. Just put that one in the bank, y'all. Well, here we go. We're gonna head up out back on the hill out yonder on the golf cart And hopefully We'll get some starlings starting to fly here. Looks like there's another thunderstorm coming. So we got to beat it y'all Oh good little off-roading on the golf cart. Don't mind me <laughs> Oh goodness Bob all right, I'm gonna park right in here. This is the spot. Well, we're gonna post up here for a minute. See if we can scratch out one or two. I'm telling you, once it stops raining and that sun pokes out, these birds are gonna be everywhere. It happens every time. Oh, just found the juice, boys. So right on my property line, these trees right here, starlings gather to it like crazy. See this group right here? Those are all starlings. I'm gonna park right underneath this tree. See if we can't pop a few coming over. Come on in here, Mr. Starling. Oh, here we go. Oh, I gotta get my bird identification eyes on. <laughs> that was, those were definitely starlings. Those are not starlings. Lots of dove, lots of blackbirds. Just like that, I could have smoked him, but I had to get my eyes going. It might take, every now and then, you might have to take a double look and not pull the trigger. Got to do it a lot in waterfowl season, especially for all my beginners out there. Take your time. Know what species you're shooting before you pull the trigger. Oh, ho, 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 ho. two just went right by me. Oh, there's a, 
Ooh, that's a quail. <laughs> that was a quail, boys. Almost looked like a starling at first. Like I said, be careful. Oh, oh, oh. He did. He did. That boy's dead. That's a starling down, boys. Yeah, yeah. I need more shells. I just had to squeeze off, too. <laughs> well, there we go. Smash the thumbs up button if you if you like that. Man, he, uh, I had to basically, man, that second shot, that was some bad shoot. That was a close shot, I guess. Talking about right there. Hopefully I got on the shot cam. Boy, I'll tell you, this is when I really, really need Fred. Like, really, really need Fred. Starlings are so small, easy to lose them in here like this. Where did he go? Well, I have been searching. I really wish I had Fred. I would have had him by now. I think he went in this uh, bush here and he gone. Dad gum it. Oh well, one starling down. That ain't bad. Ooh, you're lucky. Come on over the fence. Come on. Come on. There's a family group of them, right? Oh, there they are. I'm gonna have to start taking long shots. That's the thing. Here we go, boys. Family group of five. Come over the top. Come on. Might have to try them there. <laughs> Nothing. Oof. Well, the sun's been out. There's been some birds flying, but not as many as I'm wanting. I have to take off from the house here. We got to go uh, do a Fred video, a training video here this evening. Charlie called me. He's like, dude, it is very cool out. We need to do a video. I'm like, I'm in. So like I said at the beginning of the video, we're going to uh, prolong this video. We're going to carry it out. See how, see how much shooting we can get in. Maybe another day of it. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to give you guys a full update of the pigeon loft. There's some sad news. There's some good news, but there's some sad news as well. So stay tuned. <coughs> well, it is uh, 9 a.m. the next day and I lied. I got you on the big camera now. Put the GoPro up for now. We shot one starling. Wasn't bad, you know. Uh, was a little slow, but... We have some things to check on. First, old Gerald, the beefcake, he's here and he's working on the lodge. So we're gonna go see what he's doing real quick. And then after that, we're gonna head back to the old pigeon loft and we're gonna see the good and all the bad news that exists in the old loft today. So, yes, some came back, all of them didn't, but I don't wanna spoil it yet. Uh-huh, we're getting busy out here though, getting busy. What are you doing out here, man? <laughs> She's like, just watch, brother, just watch. Yep, we're shaving the post. Actually, Daryl, he is shaving the post. A lot of you asked prior. Hey, are you going to shave the post? Yep, we're shaving them down. This is what... They're coming out to look like now. So we're gonna put like an oil finish over them, I believe. Look at that. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Haven't done the tops of them yet, but they're looking great. Well, here we are. Here we are back at the uh, loft. Good news, bad news. Uh, here we go. The good news, good news. Let's start with the good news first. We have two different good news is <clears throat> number one good news the number one good news is that the babies are doing awesome look how they look how big them white ones are getting right there yes so the other good news is that most of the birds came back what do we have we got one two three four uh five six yes so six birds came back in total so the ones we lost check it out here is the uh camera 
the food situation in the water now I haven't checked that camera we're going to right here though if there's anything on the card I guess we know now uh, I was always curious if the white birds came in and out of here so first off we're missing four birds total Clark our <laughs> our first bird we ever trapped he's gone that's that's sad that that's a real kicker to the gut but he was an old bird and what i learned from you guys which i'm not a pigeon expert guys i'm not i don't claim to be what i learned from you guys is adult birds they're automatically going to home back to where they were originally homed after being born you know so the young birds that were born in this loft they all came back so four birds in total clark the two white paired birds, they're gone. Again, they're adults, but their babies are still here. The, we have one or two other white birds in there. And then Mama Black and White Bird. Mama Black and White Bird, she was an adult that I got from a, my buddy with the big barn, pigeon barn. She was an adult, but boy, why I miss her so much is she had babies on babies on babies. She, she was so productive and such a good mama to her babies. I'm gonna miss her a lot. But that's the story. Um, I think that we could probably fly uh, the birds in here again, uh, but to be quite honest with you, uh, I'm definitely never pushing them out again. A lot of you uh, <laughs> blew up the comment section. You're still blowing up the comment section as we speak, saying that I should not have pushed my birds out of the loft. And I completely understand it now. It was a bad idea. It really was. They're, they're not flight pigeons. They're feral birds. They're breeding birds now. Just trying to kick out some awesome colors. Just like that one there. Good old red bird. Looking good, buddy. Looking good. Now, see, he's not banded. No bands on his legs. That means he's he's one of the babies. He's one of the parent bird's babies. That's why he came back. I, never, I haven't banded him yet. Well, and as well as the old trap on top, no luck on that one either. I was really hoping to get the white pair back. That's what I really wanted, but not gonna happen. I think it's been what, like, it's been a week now, so. Whatever's back is definitely back. Whatever's not coming back ain't coming back. So, I'm gonna completely blame it on you. What I do. <laughs> he says what I do. We have so many people commenting about us pushing the pigeons out of the loft. I mean, Oh, dude. really? Oh, dude. Crazy. Well, how, Crazy. Many, how many of them came back? Six out of ten. That's pretty good. Exactly. For never letting them out, I feel like... <laughs> I feel like that's pretty good. Right? Well, especially after what they're saying us pushing them out. Which, I get it. Now... Oh, yeah. I totally pushed them out. <laughs> <laughs> he said, oh, yeah. I totally pushed I'll them out. I'll for that. Yeah, it's... Uh, Hey, six of the six of the ten came back. What do you do? Uh, odds are odds, you know. Woo -hoo -hoo. It is hot out. I hope you all are uh, surviving summer like I am, trying to at least. Uh, duck season is coming up, and in one month, one month time, just a hair over a month, I'll be going on a trip somewhere for something that y'all do not want to miss. A lot of you old time subscribers, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, we're going again. I'm gonna head up to the house. I'm actually gonna take a look at this SD card. I guess if there's anything, if any birds actually showed up, any of the white ones and or Clark showed up in the back of the cage in front of the trail cam, I'll put it at the end of the video here during the music. But I wanna thank you guys for being here. I uh, hope you guys liked today's video. It was just a chill video at home. I'm really enjoying doing videos at home. You don't know, you guys, honestly do not understand how helpful it is for me to be able to film here at home just like this video because i'm constantly working on that lodge i mean there's always something new happening we're getting ready to sheetrock today so a big old truck full of sheetrock is on its way oh and by the way i cannot find millard the mallard i have an idea where he is so if that's the case i'm gonna go check right now if that's the case be expecting Millard a Millard video. I hope I can find him Honestly, I'm not kidding, <laughs> but subscribe if you haven't hit that little notification bell on there Because it'll notify you when your boy uploads if you want to see more hunts like pigeon hunts Maybe some starling hunts at the farm with Jordan again heck Maybe we'll do another roulette hunt at the farm. You got to let me know down in the comment section below Let me know what you guys want to see 
Again, big shout out to my notification gang. Y'all are amazing. But until next time. Peace. I've been getting laid back, baby. You should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism. I've been keeping it on the DL. Got a girl.